Second Chronicles 25 Amaziah, King of Judah Amaziah was 25 years old when he became king. He ruled for 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehoadan. Jehoadan was from Jerusalem. Amaziah did what the Lord wanted him to do, but not with all his heart. He became a strong king and killed the officials who had killed his father, the king. But Amaziah obeyed the law written in the book of Moses and did not kill the officials' children. The Lord commanded, Parents must not be put to death for something their children did, and children must not be put to death for something their parents did. People should be put to death only for what they did themselves. Amaziah gathered the people of Judah together. He grouped them by families, and he put generals and captains in charge of these groups. The leaders were in charge of all the soldiers from Judah and Benjamin. All the men who were chosen to be soldiers were twenty years old and older. In all, there were three hundred thousand skilled soldiers ready to fight with spears and shields. Amaziah also hired one hundred thousand soldiers from Israel. He paid three and three-quarter tons of silver to hire these soldiers. But a man of God came to Amaziah and said, <clears throat> King, don't let the army of Israel go with you. The Lord is not with Israel or the people of Ephraim. Maybe you will make yourself strong and ready for war, but God can help you win or help you lose. Amaziah said to the man of God, But what about the money I already paid to the Israelite army? The man of God answered, The Lord has plenty. You can, he can give you much more than that. So Amaziah sent the Israelite army back home to Ephraim. These men were very angry with the king and the people of Judah. They went back home very angry. Then Amaziah became very brave and led his army to the Salt Valley in the country of Edom. There his army killed 10,000 men from Seir. They also captured 10,000 men from Seir and took them to the top of a cliff. Then the army of Judah threw them from the top of the cliff while they were still alive, and their bodies were broken on the rocks below. Meanwhile, the Israelite army was attacking towns in Judah. They attacked the towns from Beth Horon all the way to Samaria. They killed 3,000 people and took many valuable things. They were angry because Amaziah didn't let them join him in the war. Amaziah came home after he defeated the Edomites. He brought the idols that the people of Seir worshipped. He started to worship those idols. He bowed down in front of them and burned incense to them. The Lord was very angry with Amaziah, so he sent a prophet to him. The prophet said, Amaziah, why have you worshipped the gods those people worship? Those gods could not even save their own people from you. When the prophet spoke, Amaziah said to the prophet, We never made you an advisor to the king. Be quiet. If you don't be quiet, you will be killed. The, pro the prophet became quiet, but then said, God has decided to destroy you because you did this and didn't listen to my advice. King Amaziah of Judah talked with his advisors. Then he sent a message to King Je Joash of Israel. Amaziah said to Joash, Let's meet face to face. Joash was Jehoaz's son. Jehoaz was Jehu's son. Then Jehoash sent his answer to Amaziah. Jehoash was the king of Israel, and Amaziah was the king of Judah. Jehoash told this story. The little thorn bush of Lebanon sent a message to a big cedar tree of Lebanon. The little thorn bush said, Let your daughter marry my son. But a wild animal came and walked over the thorn bush and destroyed it. You say to yourself, I have defeated Edom. You are proud and you brag, but you should stay at home. There is no need for you to get into trouble. If you fight me, you and Judah will be destroyed. But Amaziah refused to listen. God made this happen. 
God planned to let Israel defeat Judah because the people of Judah followed the gods of the people of Edom followed. So King Jehoash of Israel met King Amaziah of Judah face to face at the town of Beth Shemesh in Judah. Israel defeated Judah. Every man of Judah, Judah ran away to his home. Jehoash captured Amaziah at Beth Shemesh and took him to Jerusalem. Amaziah was the son of Joash, and Joash was the son of Jehoaz. Jehoash tore down the wall of Jerusalem from the Ephraim gate to the corner gate, a section about 600 feet long. He took the gold and silver and all the other things in God's temple that Obed-Edom was responsible for. Jehoash also took the treasures from the king's palace and some people as hostages. Then he went back to Samaria. Amaziah lived fifteen years after Jehoash died. Amaziah's father was King Joash of Judah. Everything else Amaziah did from beginning to end is written in the book the history of the kings of Judah and Israel. When Amaziah stopped obeying the Lord, the people in Jerusalem made plans against Amaziah. He ran away to the town of Lachish, but the people sent men to Lachish, and they killed Amaziah there. Then they carried his body on horses and buried him with his ancestors in the city of Judah.